Hey everybody, this is Francesco Abruzzino with The Rogue Rank. Today I want to talk to you because I'm I own a medical consulting company. I have some sisters that work for me and family in Italy, and I got to go over and talk to them, do some training. Also, I get the benefit of meeting with my family. But the question is, am I prepared? Is my family prepared? Is Lisa, my wife, prepared? And for that matter, is anybody prepared for what they have to go through, for sitting in these long lines, these long ass lines at the TSA, and being inconvenienced as they rifle through my personal stuff? Are you ready for that? I don't think I am. This is a strategy by another totalitarian government entity, the TSA, Homeland Security involved in it partially, to acquire more power. I mean, if you think about it, the TSA has never been effective in catching or reducing terrorism. Check the statistics. What they have been very good at is inconveniencing Americans as they rifle through our things. Hurting us like cattle through these x-ray machines that are reminiscent of Nazi policies. Forcing people to withstand increasingly long lines. With many people even losing or missing out on their flights. And they're doing this all in the name of security. Security that it has not caught anybody yet. After wait times across the country, they went up. They made the headlines with these lines you're seeing on the screen. People were left at the airport. Air travelers, they were stranded. They got fed up. Homeland Security said, hey, we got a solution. Our solution is for greater security. Weren't we surprised? You should have been. I, the writing was on the wall. Then you got this totalitarian, this uh, this uh, Johnson, Secretary, Homeland Security. And he's using this latest crisis, this travel crisis, to push for more signups into the pre-check program. Well, you might say, hey, it's a good idea. But is it? You're an applicant. You undergo a rigorous background check. They delve into every aspect of your life just to get on a freaking plane. Then you're paying them. You're paying them $85 so that they'll do this for you. So you can speed up through a line. Let me tell you something, folks. This should be free. They should be doing this now. Why do we have to pay for it? Are they causing these slowdowns, these inconveniences, so that people will migrate over to this $85 program? So that people will migrate over to this more intensive um, review of their security, of their lives, of their personal information? And they'll do that. People will do that. Anything to avoid. I do it just to avoid this long line. Obviously, the TSA has no plans on breaking, that, backing down from this, despite these long lines that we're seeing. I can't see them making a move at all. Compromise on security. So if you're not willing to pay the additional background fees for these checks, you'll be left waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. This whole pre-check system is an elite path. An elite path to bypassing the rigor and discomfort of TSA screenings and speed up the hassle-free travel. Shouldn't this be commonplace? That's my point. Why is it not free? Why isn't it part of the whole program? It should be. Why do I have to pay for it? Why should I have to undergo some intense uh, background check just to get processed in a decent amount of time? What I think this is, is all part of that whole biometric ID grade that will place everyone under a preemptive suspicion, which we essentially are. And it'll be real time. Global surveillance, monitoring will be stepped up even more. Like so many programs that are out there, they're being instituted under the cloak of darkness that we're not even aware of them. You would be amazed at how many liberties we have lost without even realizing it. All in the name of being secure, processing faster, and all that good stuff. And those who seek control are using the problems of long airport lines to whip up this, uh, the public into compliance with this new security system. Well, new to the sheep, not new to us, to myself. I say that because the system's been active for years. My only question now is... If the people don't sign up now, can they expect more terrorism to speed the recruitment effort? 
What will be the next scare tactic that these elitist totalitarians will use to convince us to give up more rights than we already have? What say you guys? This has been Francesco Abrazzino with another Rogue Rant.